What's going on guys, I'm Venom to Man, and I find it interesting how we keep getting multiple rumors come out for this movie. There's so much stuff that's leaked about this movie. There's so much this is possible, that's possible, this is probable, this is that, that, this, this, that. But before we get to the rumors, we're going to first start off with the big news. We got the Amazing Spider-Man 2 first official image released. Yes, the logo. Oh, and by the way, the name of the movie is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's not Spectacular Spider-Man or anything else. It's The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's for a meet-up. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 meet-up. Um, so it's happening july 19th friday in california san diego you can go there you can buy your tickets we can see the spider logo has been changed um improved a bit next let's move over to the rumors because spider-man movies always have rumors right always has rumors so previously uh we figured out we found out that shailene woodley would not be mary jane in the amazing spider-man 2 it's up in the air whether or not she'll actually return in the third movie to be mary jane but meanwhile there's a whole bunch of rumors that there's going to be a new mary jane you know first we had sarah gaden or gadon i do not know how to pronounce her name but we had her now we have a new young lady flicks in the city had an interview and by the way, they've been having a lot of Spider-Man stuff. This is their second interview that has something to do with Spider-Man. So go subscribe to them. You know, go subscribe to them right now. Anyway, Flicks in the City had an interview with Colton Haynes. Um, and he worked with Holland Roden. Holland Roden is an actress. She is on Teen Wolf. He says in the interview when referencing a rumor that no one ever heard about, he says that she may be in the running to play Mary Jane. He says that he could see her as Mary Jane and that Shailene Woodley is wonderful and she could be Mary Jane also, but he says he could see Holland as Mary Jane. Um, there's so many Mary Janes. She's Mary Jane. She's Mary Jane. She's Mary Jane. He's Mary Jane. Who's Mary? I'm Mary Jane. <laughs> but um, there's so much rumors with that. I don't know what to think, but there's the news for that one. And finally, we're going to close off Michael B. Jordan. If you don't know who that is, that's the person, the guy from Chronicle, um, the guy that Andrew Garfield said he could see him as Mary Jane Watson. Michael B. Jordan, he actually responds to that. He says, no thoughts on that, but I'm a fan of Andrew. Garfield's a talented actor. I admire his work, and I would definitely love to work with him in the future. He's a funny guy. He's got a sense of humor, and I love people that won't take themselves too seriously all the time. So it's cool for him to come out and say I felt or joke around or whatever. It was fun. I laughed at it. Uh, and then when taking a more open interpretation of comic book characters you know uh, in terms of changing the race or anything he also shed some light on that he says that was the smoothest question to ask me without asking that was pretty good because you know he is in the running to be human torch that's a big rumor that he's going to be human torch and you know human torch in the comic books is not african-american michael b jordan is in fact african-american so when talking about this he says i think a lot of the times with comic books there's a continuity issue with people i think with any kind of show if you have a character you grew up with that gets recast sometimes people feel a certain way about it if it's specific to race or other characteristics that can't change and would be detrimental to the character then i feel like they shouldn't be changed but just a generic he's American, he's smart, he's funny, his name is XYZ, then I feel like anybody could be able to play that role. Hopefully moving forward, people will be able to be a little bit more open-minded. It's 2013, you have to be able to illustrate that. He basically saying exactly how I feel about the whole changing race and all that stuff. If it, if it affects the character, who the character is, don't do it. But if it doesn't, go ahead. Anyway guys, let me know what you guys think about Holland, um, possibly, being Mary Jane um, and the new logo looks slick I, I don't know what I don't have any thoughts on it in the description you'll also find an article that contains some information about the change they made to the suit the new suit why they changed the suit why there's the new suit and if you would like to read about that that'll be in the description below anyway let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as always I am Venom to Man thanking you guys for watching let's have a conversation in the comment section below I love you all follow me on Instagram the Twitter the Facebook we can communicate on there also every shown and said in this video will be in the description below that means the videos and the articles will be in the description below for you to check everything out and as always thank you guys for watching comment subscribe peace out later on guys peace